Hello guys and welcome back to the Minecraft Multiforce. Today we're going to be building the M1A2 Set V3. And this is the fifth version of my Abrams tank design. And this is a modernized third generation American main battle tank with fourth generation technology. Since it is a newer Abrams tank, it does have the Crow's uh, machine gun, which is a remote controlled. And I believe it uses a 50 caliber gun. And then right over here, this is the M240 machine gun. There's also another M240 for the coaxial and the 120 millimeter gun for the main gun. Uh, now, since this is a new version of the Abrams tank, we are going to replace Gurin's model right here. A major difference between these models is how the turret looks like in the front. I was actually helping Delta with his Abrams tank, and then that's where I got the inspiration to do uh, the front of the turret with the stairs using debug stick, which I think brings out the Abrams tank look, and you also see like the front of the turret it should be lower, and then it gradually goes up towards the back. Here's what it looks like in the back, got the detail, got the tail lights. These are supposed to be like numbers. And then here we have an additional turret basket. Now the turret basket of the M1A2 set V3, there's actually two of them, like the main baskets, this one. And then behind it, there's this basket, which can actually fold up when we do the transport mode. So that is another version of the Abrams tank. I'll get to that right after we finish this one. We've also added the smoke grenade launcher here using these candles and here we got the thermal site and there's also like these two hatches see the commander's one's bigger this one maybe it's like the gunner i don't know but you can see this is the inside <laughs> maybe you can add an interior if you want to you got the spare tire or spare wheel on the side not a tire and then these are supposed to be spare tank treads that they sometimes add and here is the towing cable and here's what it looks like from the front got some shackles for towing um, underneath there. This overall, I'm pretty happy of this redesign of the Abrams tank. It brings it a lot closer to how it should look like. And now let's take a look at this one. So this is a new version that we're also doing, but it is quite essential if you're building the US military because they often um, transport Abrams tank on this either on rail cars, like on flat cars or on planes or roll on or roll off ships they will face the turret backwards because it kind of compresses how much space it uses so you see the gun sticks out two blocks there while the if you put it in the front it's like three blocks so they make it more compact and they also do have some more changes besides that uh, besides the turret facing 180 degrees they also put like cables or chains uh, to hold the gun in place at the back so we added that and we also added like this additional turret basket. It's actually folded up like that, which I just learned about like a couple hours ago. And also this also has rooms for the, I believe this is the APU unit, sticks out a little bit in the back, the auxiliary power unit and the set V3 version is actually more power efficient than the standard Abrams tank. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this new design. The Abrams is a classic build and quite a popular one. So if you guys do enjoy the video, make sure you hit that like button and let's get started. So first off, let's grab some materials. We're gonna take out a cut sandstone block, strip birch wood log, deep slate brick slab and stage Stairs, smooth sandstone slab and stairs, a birch pressure plate, dark oak sign, a birch sign. All right, so first off, let's make the wall of this. So we're going to take out a cut sandstone block and we're going to make it nine blocks long. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Like that. And then the front will add an upside down deep slate brick stairs and then a slab underneath it here. All right, then to the side, we'll, then the front will add in um, dark oak sign, side of that, a birch sign on top, a birch shop door, just like that. All right, then we'll go on the inside of this, add in two birch shop doors, and then we'll take out smooth sandstone slab at two blocks wide, and we'll extend it so it meets up with the back part, fill in the floor. All right, so here in the back, we'll add in um, deep slate brick stairs facing the back. And then deep slate brick slab right behind it. Then we'll add in a grindstone wheel right here, a birch shop door right in front of this, close that up. And then we'll add in um, stripped birch lock here, skip block, and then add it across like that. It's five, and then deep slate brick slab in the middle of this, and spruce buttons all along the rims of this, the wheels. And then next we'll add in a birch button here, skip a block, blackstone button. Skip three blocks, a birch button again there. 
Then in the back, we're going to add in a smooth sandstone slab. And we're going to add that so it's two blocks wide like this. Add another two in the middle of this. Then we'll go down, add in two birch shaft doors here. Then in the middle, we'll add in two birch slabs like that. I'm going to add in a flower pot right here. In the middle, we'll add in a polished blackstone brick uh, block and a wall in front of that. All right, next we'll take out smooth sandstone stairs at two blocks wide here. We want to corner this one though and corner the one in the front and then smooth sandstone slab right there. And then underneath, we'll add in a stone bun for the shackle. And over here, we'll add in smooth sandstone block and then a stripped birch wood like that. All right, so once we have this, we're to copy everything we did on this side and build the other half. All right, once we have the other half, it should look like this. Then we'll go in the back, we'll add it a polished blackstone brick block here, wall in front, birch plank here, and a sandstone wall in front of that. And then we'll add in smooth sandstone, two by three on the inside of this. And yeah, this is actually going to be our base. And this is where we're going to split off the tutorial. We're going to be building this one first, the standard Abrams tank, and then later on the transport mode Abrams tank. All right, so to get started on the regular Abrams tank, let's take out a sandstone wall, add one here, and then smooth sandstone stairs, face them outwards, two on a diagonal like this. Then we'll add in smooth sandstone, make it two blocks wide like that. And then to the side, we'll add an upside down smooth sandstone stairs. And then another two smooth sandstone stairs here. And then a smooth sandstone slab. And then smooth sandstone stairs two blocks wide like that. To the side, we'll add in a birch sign. And then a chain right there. Then we'll add in birch shop doors, two on a diagonal facing towards the back. And then some candles, make it four candles like that. And then in the middle we'll add in smooth sandstone slab, four blocks long, and then a cut sandstone slab at the edge, birch button on top, and then skip two blocks in the birch trap door right there. All right, then in the back we'll add in a birch trap door here, birch fence gate, open that up like that. Smooth sandstone slab on the side. Um, daylight detector right there and then a birch sign to the side of that and then a birch fence over here a candle on top of that two blocks wide of birch slabs and then two blocks wide of birch signs then i'm going to add in smooth sandstone slabs going to add two on a diagonal here birch slab here and then smooth sandstone slabs all the way across the middle just like that then I'm going to add two blocks wide of birch fence gates like this. And then a wither skeleton skull on the side. Cut sandstone slab on the inside of this like so. Then we're going to add in an iron bar four blocks tall above this daylight detector for the antenna. Alright, so then we're going to copy everything that we did in the turret part onto the other side. Alright, so once we built the other side it should look like this. Then we're going to go here, add in a smooth sandstone stairs, just like that. Another smooth sandstone stairs facing the front. And then behind, another smooth sandstone stairs, another one diagonally outwards side. Smooth sandstone slab right there. And the inside, we'll add in a birch trap door. And open that up. And then on this side, it's going to be a cut sandstone slab right here. And then smooth sandstone slab, wrap it around the sides like this. And then we're going to change this slab here into stairs. And we'll also add in two um, birch, I mean, sandstone walls like that on a diagonal. And then a dark oak fence gate over here, open that up. And then chain sticking out. And then we'll add in a birch fence gate here. Dark oak fence gate behind that, open that up. Another birch fence gate to side this, and we'll open that up. Sandstone wall right here, chain the outside of that, and a birch sign to the side, as well as an end rod for the coaxial machine gun, like that. I'm going to add in a flower pot on top of this for the thermal site. In the back, we'll add in a, a birch sign right there, while the other side is going to be a dark oak trap door and close it up for a spare wheel 
And that's how you make the standard Abrams tank. Now let's go on and make the transport edition one. All right, so this one does have a slightly different uh, back. This is a little more sloped. It is discolored, but that's just to show it's separate from the turret. So let's go here in the back and we're gonna add in daylight tickers, two over here, uh, another two here, and we're gonna make the inner ones blue. And then we're gonna add in a sandstone wall directly inside like that. And then we'll add in a smooth sandstone slab. We're gonna add another slab at the front, change this block into a smooth sandstone block. Another smooth sandstone slab right there and then cut sandstone at the very edge. Also add in a birch button like that. And then to the side, we're going to add in birch shop doors, close them up. And then two smooth sandstone stairs on a diagonal facing outwards. And then another birch shop door right here. And then five smooth sandstone slabs, one, two, three, four, five. Then we'll go to the side, add an upside down smooth sandstone stairs here. Then two more upside down stairs facing outwards. Then a smooth sandstone slab, and then a birch trap door. On the other side, we're gonna repeat the same thing pretty much. So let's do that once again. A smooth sandstone slab, birch trap door, and then the middle is gonna be three blocks wide of this birch um, slab like that. And then in the middle, we'll add in a birch fence, candle on top, smooth sandstone stairs there, smooth sandstone slab on the other side. And then we'll add in daylight detectors on the sides. Make sure they are closed up. And then we'll add in birch fence gates and that's gonna be five blocks across like this. On the side we'll add in a birch sign like this, both sides. And then we'll add in two birch fence gates here. Birch sign and then a chain. And then on the other side we could do the same thing sign in the chain also add in a wither skeleton skull facing inwards on the last fence gate both sides and then next we'll add smooth sandstone stairs upside down the inside of this both sides you know what we might as well make it three blocks wide and then on top we'll add in a birch trap doors right here both sides and then a smooth sandstone stairs facing the front here and facing the middle on that side. And then we'll go in the back of this, add smooth sandstone stairs here, two on a diagonal facing outwards, smooth sandstone slab in between. And then we'll add in some candles, gonna be four both sides for the smoke grenade launcher. And then there's going to be this sandstone wall, two on a diagonal right here. And then a dark oak fence gate, open that up. And then a chain in front of it. In the back, we'll add in two birch slabs like that, both sides. And then we're going to add in cut sandstone slabs on both sides. And then a cut sandstone block right there. Smooth sandstone slab right there. And then two smooth sandstone slabs here. A birch fence gate here. Another one to the diagonal of it. Open that up. Dark oak uh, fence gate here. Open that up. A birch sign to the side of this and a chain on the edge, and then a sandstone wall next to this. Then I'm gonna add in chains to the side of this gun. And in the front underneath, we'll add in smooth sandstone stairs upside down, three blocks wide. Just like that, as well as a birch trap door. Inside this hole, open that up like so. All right, then I'm gonna add in a flower pot on top of this. And then uh, skip a block here, birch shop door like that. Then I'm gonna add in iron bars on top of the daylight detector, make it four blocks tall, just like this. So that's pretty much it for how to make the Abrams tank, both versions of it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you do, make sure you hit that like button down below. Check out our Discord server, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.